never wanted it to end This MS can roll and built by steel that bends Under a million star sky The bow wind brought more than tears to my eyes and we all have ways of dealing with this face Now the nights are simply transports for the day And I'm transatlantic I'm transatlantic Transatlantic I'm Transatlantic For a while Goodbye to you fair Canada the same roar and slowly fades beneath my sleep And like a thousand burning hells I will cleanse my soul with mid-Atlantic swells And one can get addicted to this pain Sometimes it seems like it's all about getting away And I'm transatlantic I'm transatlantic I'm transatlantic Take a slow walk in the country Anywhere will do Just as long as we're out of the city I, I'm from, uh, from Sweden, from for two. I'm from Sweden, from, um, from Malmo in the south of Sweden, from the beginning. And now I don't live there, I live in the, in the middle of Sweden. But, uh, 35 years old, started making music maybe 20 years ago or something, uh, and have been doing it because it's the only thing that I can do <laughs> and the only thing I like to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, when I was uh, six, my family moved to, to America, to, uh, to Seattle, and we lived there for 10 years, and then uh, moved back to Sweden, and that's, I mean, I would play, I played like in the band, or like in the marching band in America, played trombone, but uh, the actual like feeling that music was, um, could be something, or understanding that music was something fantastic, it came more, more in Sweden, I think. I, I mean, I remember, I remember playing and listening to a lot of music as a child, but 
starting to play myself, play guitar and sing, and just realizing that this is something that makes me think that life is worth living, <laughs> you know. That feeling came to me when I was 15, 15 or 20 or something, but in Sweden, at least. Uh, um, it's, uh, I mean, I, I still, we actually have just made a new, a new Loose Ghost record just, just two weeks ago. Uh, because it's so much fun to play with my old friends and the people that I've played with for so many years before. But the whole solo thing is, I mean, you, you're always so. If you write songs, you're always solo in one sense of the word, uh, and then you're always playing music with. Music is not. Music is never solo. You're always, you know, if, whether you're playing with somebody or there's an audience or whatever. There's always an <coughs> interaction in music, so it doesn't. For me, there's no big change. It's just actually more logistical that I can, uh, if I am solo, then I can go to Sevilla by myself and play. If I have a band, I have to get a van and, you know, pay a bunch of people. <laughs> it's quite simple. You know, it's just writing songs and then doing them in different forms, I guess. Yeah, yeah I, I often... I try to make every, for some reason, I didn't, I didn't plan it like that, but every record has become very, it's been very important where it's recorded, where it's recorded has very much made the, the record how it sounds and how, especially how it sounds to me and I try to make more, I try to get more points on a record than just the songs and just the, the um, and this last record was recorded in, in, a, in a house that I had in the south of Sweden, uh, in the barn in that house. Just And I worked on the house for several years and then I felt finished and then I wanted to do the record. And then when I had done the record, I didn't want to live in the house anymore. It was, it, it's, it's like I just, you know, worked, worked for, to get something, make something perfect and then, you know, throw it away again. And I, more than just the songs, also in my head, like moving, moving my whole family somewhere and just doing a record and then tearing it down and keep going. It's, it makes it more, for me, it just makes it of a bigger project and it, it makes it, because music is, is, the, is like my life and it just makes it more, I don't know, makes it more for me, it makes it more, more important at least, in a way. Yeah, right. Yeah. That was just, a, I was writing the songs for the last record. I started writing them around, around that time. We, we, we did a, a tour in the States, my wife and I, and it was just very, it's too much. I think it's too much. I mean, I love I love America, and I, and I like I said, I grew up there, and I love to visit it. But it's for me just to be there. It's too much. Too much. The backsides of uh, of consumption and capitalism and everything that's just constantly. It's all about just spending the money, you know. And uh, I just don't understand it. It's just really weird, and it makes me very sad. Yeah, you know, it's that simple. Or, in my opinion, records should always be uh, a document of the time, no matter what what the document is. I mean, um, people try so hard to capture time. People try very, very hard to make time perfect, and there's no there is no perfect. And I don't understand the whole. And Beatles tried to make everything perfect, and it's easy with not easy with the computer, but you can keep changing things, making things perfect, perfect, perfect as much as you want and you have it and perfect is always of course in your head and your idea of what is perfect um, and the hard part is Velvet Underground I'm sure they had a, a, I'm sure there was a lot of people thinking perfection thoughts like John Cale and and, and, and obviously Lou Reed is, is total control freak so I'm sure they had an idea that that this was perfect but still there's so much of just them that seeps through that just you can really you can feel something there that you just can't. I can't feel it with the Beatles because the Beatles is it's moved. Things are like put in place, and with the Velvet Underground, it's I'm sure it's put in place in somebody's head, but it's still scattered. Yeah, I think so because it's because I, I want to remember them. I just it's just I only do I mean I mean I only make records for myself and for my family and for my friends it, 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 in my head. I know that other people listen to it, but I only want to you know it's like writing postcards. It's, it, this is. This is 2009 and 2010. It's a postcard, you know, it's, that's how I do it. 
I, I, I've been in Spain uh, a lot when I was uh, when I was younger, when, uh, in the late 70s. We had a house in the south, uh, outside of outside of Malaga or up north, and up, up towards uh, that area. So I, when I remember when I was a <coughs> kid, we was always just drive down. So I would go over Madrid and then down this way towards towards Malaga. So I have very many memories from from winters in the late 70s, early 80s of being here. And then after that I didn't I didn't go, when we lived in the States, we only went to Spain like once, I think in those 10 years. And then um, I've been here a few times, like done uh, s smaller shows in uh, Barcelona and Bilbao and uh, Santiago de Campella, I think. Um, and I've, you know, driven around in Spain a lot. I like it, it's very, I feel, uh, at home here, even though I don't have any connection. More than that, of course, that I was here as a child. But but it's uh, yeah, it's a nice, very nice country. I enjoy it very much. I think the Spanish influence on folk music in general is very big. I mean, uh, with just I mean, just with the guitars, it's, it's the home of the of the nylon guitar of the guitar. Period. So it's, we have very much, oh, very much to Spain. <laughs> I think. Yeah. All, all the musicians in the world today, really.